how are you? Hi, Carol. Hi, Renee. Hi, Amber. Welcome, welcome. How are you guys? How are you? How are you? How are, how is everyone? How is everyone? I am a little early today. I'm not usually this early. I usually am like cutting it close, right to the wire. But I'm a little earlier today. Hi, Carrie. How are you? So, we're going to work on our, um, we're going to work on the, hi Mitzi, hi Linda, hi Marcy, hi Patricia. How are you guys? How is everyone? How are you, Renee? Hi, Kathy's World. I'm glad you're here. Hi, Annette. Hi, Carrie. So I want somebody asked me about some of my acrylic pores. So I thought I'd show you guys some of my acrylic pores. Um, well, I can. Hi, Care. Hi. Hi, little birdie, too. It's Terry. Awesome. Nice to see you, Terry. Hi, Sarita. So these are the pours that I did during my birthday live stream week. And I thought I would show them to you. Um, I may have done more than this, but this is what I have. So this was on watercolor paper, and I taped it down onto some Bristol board, and the paint got so heavy it bled over, and... You know, next time I would put some wax paper underneath it. Like this one, I can't even lift off. If I try to lift it off the Bristol, it is going to um, tear. But I like the way it came out. So if I'm going to do anything with this one, I'll just glue down the ends on the Bristol board. And then this is just a piece of watercolor paper. I think it came out pretty good. Hi, Amberly. And then these are the ones that I did on the canvas board. You know, I would say it's better just to do them on canvas because the canvas board does warp. You know, so. Hey, Miss Renee, how are you? Hi, Dawn. I've been thinking about you, my girl. How is your dad? So this is how they came out. I mean, some of them I like. Some of them I can kind of like, yeah, but, you know, I'm never going to use them just as they are. Happy Friday to you, Marcy. So, and then let's look at some of the bigger ones. And so because they warped, because they sloped down, but however the paint was, it rushed to the center. I mean, they're okay. It is Aloha Friday. Hi, Joyce. How are you? How are you? I'll show you my favorites. Okay, so you've seen all these. So I would say, you know, I'm going to be honest. I've only ever done acrylic pours on Luan, on wood. I did a couple with, um, hi Therese, I did some with um, Hottie, and I'll have to see if he has a picture of one of them. We did one, and then he did a big painting on top of it. So... Um, I have never really done it on these like little boards. I don't know if I would waste the energy and the time on the on these unless you did it. I've done it on plain canvas and it's fine, you know, like on a regular canvas. And I've done it on plywood or luon. You're sitting in your dad's ICU room. Oh, Renee, we're sending him so much love. And he's finally waking up. Oh, oh that's such good news. So I'll show you my favorites. Okay, my favorites out of all the acrylic pours were the book covers, you guys. Now, I definitely would do it again on, with the book covers. And I don't know why they didn't warp, but they didn't. I don't know, but I like the book covers. Now, I would definitely, before I would use them, I would seal them because they have kind of a gritty texture. But I love the book cover. I think it came out great. I mean, it'll make a totally kick-butt... Um, journal. I love that. I know, right? The book cover is my favorite. And this is one I did without you guys because I had already sanded this book cover. This was like a cover of like, a, I don't know, it was like a beach book or something like a 
book on seagulls or something and I'd taken the pages out from the inside. But if I'm going to use either one of the book covers, and it didn't warp either. So I don't know whether it was the fact that this book board is so much thicker. But I would definitely do it on a book again because I think it would be, I think it might cool journal covers. Um, right? I like the book covers too. They were my favorite. The book covers did come out really good. So I would do it again on books. So my advice to you is if you're going to try it, get yourself some old books and then sand the covers. This one I just sewed. This one I didn't. It was black. I just did it right directly on the cover of the book. And it was, I can't rem remember, but it was like a mystery novel. You can kind of see it coming through. But I would totally do it again on a book. Um, and the paper's not so bad. I would just put wax paper underneath it. You see the faces in the book? That's cool. That's cool. I can see, yeah, that does look like a face right here. You're right, it is. So... You're saying you're you we I introduced you to Shannon Green. Oh, she's awesome. She is awesome. You know, today I think this weekend is their their final days to be out of their old house. So she may not be around. You guys, let's just send her some love and support. Hi, Vic. Let's send her some love and support. I don't know. She may come around. I talked to her a couple days ago. They're not finished yet. No, no, they're still moving from their old house to their new house. So today, I don't know if today or tomorrow is their final day. So I'm sure. And you guys, the house they lived in before, they lived in a long, long time. She may be. <laughs> no, we have Scotty Popo here and she will be on it. Trust me. And I'm sure Lynn will come in in a little bit. So everybody get your coffee. We're going to work on our, <laughs> I'm waving to all of you. I love you guys. Um, um, we're going to work on our scavenger hunt book. Okay. So my advice to you is if you're going to do these acrylic, you guys know how much I hate wasting things. Hi, Brenda. Oh, I hope you, you're still ill. You're going back to the war. We're sending you some love. You, hey, Linda, you know how much I hate wasting things. So I don't like to wait. And you know how much I don't really buy anything. I recycle everything. So me doing a bunch of acrylic pours to throw them away is not my idea of fun. It makes me a little stressed out, but that's my own issue. Hi, Vic. Yes. How are you? Hi, Jania. So I'm just going to say to you guys, if you're going to do this, do it on something. If you've got a couple of old book covers, use that. Do it on some real canvas or go get yourself some wood, some plywood, some little, uh, little sheets, little thin the thinnest sort of plywood, rough up the surface, gesso it, and then do it on there. I just don't like wasting anything. Hi, Donia. How are you? We're happy you're here. Hi, Emily. Hi, Edna. Okay, you guys know my ridiculousness. Okay, so we are back to the scavenger hunt book. And if I get, if we, if I, I don't know how much I have in to put in my scavenger hunt book, but I, I think I have a good amount. And... I, if you guys have it in the description, in the description box below is Janet's channel. Hi, Carla F. How are you? In the description box below is Janet's channel where you can find how to participate in the scavenger hunt 2018. Okay. And so I say, if you guys still want to do it, it's not too late. And you guys... Just because she gave a deadline for a giveaway doesn't mean you can't participate. I am going to finish mine, I'm sure, before the deadline. If you want to be included in her drawing, you have to email her by March 1st and that you finished your book. And then I don't know how she's judging it. I remember hearing Dee Dee say on her channel, Dee Dee Willingham said on her channel that, you know, she may, Janet may send you a, a, a question saying, you know, ask you questions about your book or say, send me a picture of this page or whatever. So I know she's doing something like that. So, but I'm just saying this is just a really fun exercise in glue booking. It's also like a fun, it's like, it's like a Shannon Green journal for no reason, right? It's, it's like so much fun, right? 
So everybody get their coffee or your beverage of choice. I'm drinking my coffee. And I'm going to get a glue stick and we can begin. What, Jan? What do you got? I'm not even going to repeat all the stuff you guys are saying. Getting a little risque and, and we haven't even begun yet. Renee, we're sending your dad love. That's I'm so happy he's waking up. That's so awesome. So if anybody wants to join in, I put Janet's channel be below on Ustream. She streams live, and her channel on Ustream is Monkey Island Madness, and she may even join us tonight. And it's just a really fun way. Go over and check out her channel and, you know, send her some love. Hang on, I'm going to get a glue stick, and if you guys hear lots of noise in the background, it's my family. They don't care that I'm streaming. They just decide they're going to do whatever, even though I give them all a heads up. Ask them all to be quiet. They don't listen. Does anybody else have a family like that? None of you, right? I bet none of you. So what I did do, what I added to my book, which you guys might want to consider, okay, even if you're doing it in a, in a uh, composition book, is I made a pocket out of, I glued two pages, two pages, and some of the pages I tore out of, I did them in a little accordion style and made a pocket in the back of my book so that I could just gather the stuff for my glue book, you know? So if I wasn't gluing, I could stick it all in. I do have over 4,000 subscribers. You guys, I'm so grateful. Thanks for subscribing to me and hanging out with me. I appreciate it. Donia, you're a you're a you're a you're a hoot and a fast free woman for all of us. We're happy for you. Kathy's saying her husband always calls the dogs in the middle of her video and yells to ask you something. Oh, mine does too. Mine comes comes to tell me, and usually my daughter is my littlest one. I've got grown children and an eleven year old, and yes, I know. My oldest daughter told me I had my own grandchild. My kids, my from my youngest to my oldest is like 16 years apart. So I have, it's always never dull in my house. And so usually what happens for me is my daughter's, my youngest daughter's friends, she's got a little friend that loves to come over and chat and play and he'll usually stand outside the door and sing. Sing all kinds of songs to her. You guys go brawless. Why not? <laughs> Fight the system. Go brawless. I hear you, Carrie. It's like, you know what? You just got to, did you guys see Lizzie's video? You don't know where all the bra talk is coming from. Who knows? Who cares? Did you guys hear, see, if you guys haven't gone over and subscribed to Elizabeth Brewer, please go do it. She's hilarious. <laughs> Jane says she's, she's 70 and she's wearing it day and night. <laughs> Go for it. You're right, Donia. They always call you when you're busy. But have, did you guys go over ever and watch Lizzie's video the day her husband walks in and passes gas in the middle of her video? Like, I don't know. She could have been live streaming. Have you guys seen that? Oh, it. You, I laughed until I cried. If Heidi Popo comes in tonight, we'll ask her. Hi, Heather. We'll ask her where um what video because she'll tell you it is so funny and <laughs> jane's saying no droopy ladies i love you jane care says her oldest brother 16 years older than her oh good you became close after you became an adult ah uh, i you know what i think it will happen for my kids they all love the littlest one they always call i was dying too you guys, I laughed until I cried. If you guys have not gone over and, and checked out Elizabeth Brewer, go and show her some love. She is hilarious. And I love her. Love her. Love her. All right. Let's go through this scavenger hunt list. Now, you guys, if you go over to Janet's channel and you or if you join her on Instagram, she gives you a printout. I think you can email her and get a printout. I just listened to what she said and wrote it down. Okay, I typed my own list. Her list is comes with instructions and everything. Now, you guys know my neighbor's dogs are just going to have a, a field day because the kids must be out, and they must be heading over here to me to come and get my daughter. And these are not my dogs, you guys. These are my neighbor's dogs.
Um, honey, there's some. There's coming somebody at the door. It's for you, Blake. I'm sorry, guys. There's like somebody coming out for Hottie. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Your dad just walked by you, passing gas about the time I finished that story. Carla, it it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It's like the timing of it is ridiculous. Hi, Malia. How are you, my darling? And how is baby Vera May? And how is Lily? Hi, Anne. You're having internet issues? Oh, Anne, we all have. You guys, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up. Or if you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. But give me something. I appreciate it. All right, let's go through my book and let's see where I have. You guys, I don't have my coloring book page. I have my tea bag. Tea tags are on the front. The second page is coloring book. I have to deal with that one. Label off a blanket or pillow. Let me see what I have back here. You guys, so I've been collecting stuff. You guys know my crafting, my craft room saga, right? I have been cleaning out. You guys know my saga. I don't even need to get into it. So I've been cleaning out my craft space. I've been cleaning it, moving my craft room. And so in that, I put a bunch of stuff in. So let's see. Okay, in one of, okay, tickets. I know there's some tickets. Let's find out what page the tickets are on. What ticket stub, number 50. Now for those of you that didn't join me last week, I took an old book, took some pages out, and I am using an old book for my for my scavenger hunt book. I think many people ha are using composition books. Oh, they're doing great, El Malia. Honey, we understand, we, we miss you greatly, but we know what it's like to have babies. All of us do, all of us know. And we love you and we want you to know we love you and we miss you, but when you're ready, you'll be back here. Oh, I might as well do this page first. This was one of those, if you get a fake credit card thing, you guys, you guys know my love for junk mail. I got a few of those fake credit card things. Now, I may go back and doodle on the pages in between. I don't know. I got to use some Mod Podge. I don't know. Yeah, the, sca the, scavenger, the scavenger hunt is kind of, you know what I think is fun about it, you guys? I think it's fun. It reminds me of when you're a kid and... You know, you play like those sort of I spy games, that sort of thing. Well, so I had my littlest one helping me. I asked her, I said, I need, and so she'll, she's like looking around our house for different things. She's so funny. So she actually went through all the junk mail. I told you one, I don't know, it was the last stream I was on. My friend just, my friend that I get lots of junk mail from decided to stop by. Bring me some more junk mail. Oh, I might be able to put more if I move it closer. Maybe I'll put this one in town first. So she uh, she went through the bag. I usually go through it, sort it, pull out all the envelopes, and then take out the stickers. Do you guys stay, save all the advertising stickers? You know, they it's usually like something to stick on for some for some sort of you know, join a club or something. But maybe I'm only going to be able to get free on this page. Maybe I won't be able to get any more than three on this page. And that's okay. I can decide if I want to put some on the other one. These ones that come in the mail are not good enough for, like they're not good paint, paint ones. Do you guys know what I mean? They're not good. They don't work for paint. For putting your paint down. Hey, Helen. Hi, Kayala. How are you? How are you? So, if you guys did, any of you guys go over and check out those channels that I that I linked in the description box? Did any of you guys go over and check out Jessica's channel or check out? Um, I have more. I thought I had more than that. Did you guys go over and show, share some love and check out some channels? I hope you did. I hope you guys went over and checked out some channels and showed some channel love. 
to so I added I added a couple of things in the description box tonight so one of them was our lovely care heart and it's her channel is right there she's also very new to YouTube I mean maybe not new as far as like watching YouTube videos but as far as having her channel she's new and she is doing a fabulous fabulous giveaway for a logo design for her nonprofit so I want you guys her script the link to her channel is in the description box below and I want you guys to head on over and see if you know she gives you really good guidelines on what she's looking for as far as what they're looking for in her nonprofit for for a logo and it would be so cool if one of the crafting mamas was one of the people that won that would be so awesome so oh good you subby to some too randy's rhino was amazing wasn't it you guys he's so awesome you guys go over and, and support and shout him shout out to him well i added so Everybody, Kara's in, in the chat tonight. Just go right over to her, next to her name. There should be click, three dots. Click over. It'll take you to her channel. And you guys go on over and sub to her channel and watch the video on, watch the video on creating the logo. It would be so cool if one of you guys won the logo challenge. I think it would be super awesome. Don't you guys think so? I think it would be. I think it would be super awesome. And the giveaway, Shannon Green is giving away one of her custom keepers as the prize. So Kara, that was bravo for, for getting Miss Shannon Green to be part of your fabulous giveaway because we all love Shannon Green. You can't get enough of Shannon Green. Oh, she's get so Kara's writing. I'm sorry, I'm gluing didn't even see. Uh, she says, Kara says, um, Shannon Green has sponsored the giveaway and she's giving a custom keeper and a junior custom keeper with a tool insert and a package of ATCs. I think that's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Hey, APG. Happy Go Texan Day to you. What, Carla, what, what did you, when, what did you do when your daughter, when your children were in school 30 years ago? I'm sorry, I wasn't watching the chat, guys. I was, I was kind of looking for those extra cards because I know we found more than the one that I put in here. Okay, so let me go back over here. Let me take out my, my wax papers just to keep the uh, glue from the pages from sticking together. And guys, already I've got a mess going on. And that was awesome. We all have to support each other. You made your own logo? Oh, that's awesome. Well, go on over. You know, she gives some really, sp really specific guidelines for the logo it, it, it needs to be a butterfly and have wings and have heart have a heart in the middle and she gives very specific guidelines and has to be four colors is it four colors or three colors hi liz so you guys go first of all you guys go over and subscribe to Kier's channel and show her some love it has to be a three color logo Go over to Care's channel, subscribe. It's Care Heart, H A R T. And if you look in the description box of the video, there'll be a link to her channel. But she's also in the live chat tonight. So if you see her pop up, just go to the three dots next to her um, name and it'll take you to her channel. Subscribe and then watch that video and pass it on. Maybe you guys can share it in some other groups. I mean, we shared it in Crafting Mamas. Maybe we can, sh maybe you can share it in another group. I mean, it'd be really great to have one of our fellow artists win. Hi, Yvette. Welcome, welcome. We're happy to see you. Hi, Kiki. How are you feeling, Mama? How are you feeling? 
Okay, I've got actually got a lot more than I thought I have. Let's see. Let me see. So I'm going to look. I have some. One of the things you have to have are cupcake things. Cupcake. Cupcake papers. Guys, this reminds me when I was a kid and you read the same thing over and over and over again and you can't find page 44. Cupcake papers. I don't think it has to be a full page, Amber. I think it just has to be... I think it just has to be one. I don't think it has to be a full page, but go over and watch her video. I don't remember it saying it had to be a full page. So... You guys go over and support Janet too. Go over and tell, and please tell her. Say, Shelly sent me, you know. She wrote me the sweetest uh, message from in last week. And she said, you know, I heard that you're doing this. Thank you for your support. You know, she's doing it for the same reason I am. You know, it's like a community thing. You guys, as artists, we have to stick together. Oh, I guess I was doing something with Easter because I've got a couple of Easter things. You guys, I never buy cupcake things, so I must have been doing something with my kids' school. You guys, I would not normally, I would, I don't know. But I obviously must have been doing something because I got two Easter, two Easter cupcake papers. Two of them, not one, but two. There you go. Two Easter cupcake papers. You guys, it's all about community, and that is the one thing that YouTube totally offers that no other venue offers is community, right? <laughs> Scotty's saying, welcome to my world, Shelly. Can you imagine reading 50 stories about pumpkins written by nine-year-olds? Oh my gosh, can I tell you, I can totally relate. I used to teach art to kids, and you guys... Oh my gosh. So one year I'll tell you guys a cute story. It's kind of cute, but kind of scary. So when you have small children, Malia, you may go through this. Okay. So, oh, look, I have some more tea papers. Oh, and I have some more tickets. I think I'm already done with the tea page. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my little envelope in the back. So my daughter, my, when I was teaching kids, when I was teaching art to children, um, my oldest daughter must have been in the, I was teaching five and six, I was teaching all ages, but this particular project that reminds me of the story was, I was working with five and six year olds and we were doing self portraits and we were making a quilt. So we were painting, we were drawing on fabric. There's an art therapist. Oh, Kiki, I hope you do it. Do it. Do it. Kara says, Helen, I almost sent you the worst racy book page I've ever seen. Notice it as I was capturing the video and freaked. <laughs> Care, you should totally send it to Helen. She would appreciate a racy book page. So I think it would be awesome. I think it would be awesome, Kara. Send some racy book pages out. Follow in my footsteps. Just send out those racy book pages. With, well, at least you noticed it before you sent it out. I made a whole journal with it and didn't even look. Is that not the most ridiculous thing ever? So back to my story. So I have these little kids, and they're like five years old, and we're drawing pictures of themselves. And, you know, kids at five, they have no filter. They have no filter. And they're just brilliant. So, like, one little boy, he draws himself, and his head is... Now, and I want to say it's like on a... I don't remember. It was like on a 8.5 by 11 size picture, right? I had to, And I was quilting it, and they were drawing it first, and... <laughs> oh, no, Malia, that is racy. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Christy. So I'm talking to this little boy and I'm like saying, and I'm holding the fabric and I had taped it down, but I just wanted him to draw and pencil. Hi, Janet. There's the scavenger hunt book lady herself. Welcome, Janet. 
Oh, well, we're happy you're here. Everybody see her name right there, Janet M. Young. Go right next to her name with the three dots and subscribe. But her, the link to her channel is also in our description box. So you guys ask Janet all your questions about the book. <laughs> Kara's saying, I have no idea how descriptive her Horacy book pages book page was. So you put it in Happy Mail, Scotty. Well, Scotty, there you go. You're going to get some racy book pages. Janet, we're happy you're here. Everybody say hi to Janet. So I'm asked, so one of the little boys, I asked him, so, you know, I said, draw your face. Draw your face. And I'm having him draw it in pencil first, right? Because then we're going to paint it with fabric paint. So I'm having him draw his face. So one boy draws his face and he draws. So it's like the, the, the square is like an eight and a half by 11 piece of fat muslin. And so I'm having him draw his face and he draws his face. One of them draws his head like the size of a nickel. Okay. And then he draws his body like his, his head so small, but his body's huge and his hands are big. And I'm like, uh. So I said, well, could we draw it again? And he said, no, my mom told me I have a really small head and big feet. So you have to really be careful what you tell kids, right? Because so, he drew that. He drew a really small head and these huge feet. Then an, I had another boy who was drawing his stuff. And he drew for his, he drew his face, but for his neck, he drew like a coil. He drew like a, like a squiggle like this. And I said, well, tell me about that. And he said, well, he says, I have asthma. And when I can't breathe, that's what it feels like. And I thought, well, that's really cool, right? He drew it. And then I had, and then some of them put words by their names, right? And so I had, and you have to realize this is like 25 children. So I'm doing this in, in a great big, you know, in a group, but I'm trying to do it in like groups of three or groups of four because they're five years old, right? And you, some of them are, I wish I had taken pictures of it. Anyway, one of them did their, their picture and their face was, the nose on the face was so big because I had them look in the mirror when they did their, their, I said, look at yourself and then draw yourself, right? And the nose was so big because that was the perspective, right? He looked at it and he saw his nose. So his nose was really stuck out. It was brilliant. One boy wrote on like, and some of them didn't write anything. I said, well, you can do, do he, one little boy was adamant that he wanted his to say something. And I said, okay, so what do you want it to say? So he drew his picture and everything. And out of his mouth, he wrote, I'll trade you a beer for some fingernail polish. Now I'll trade you some fingernail polish for, for a beer. And I was like, where did that come from? I will trade you fingernail polish for a beer. And so I was like, he's five years old. I was like, now this quilt has to be shown in front of the whole school. And it, it's going to go to this big foundation meeting. And so I, I asked him, I said, well, you know, what is this about? And he said, he said that one of his sisters wrote with fingernail polish on something in their house. And so fingernail polish was banned in their house. They couldn't have, he had a very large family. Fingernail polish was banned in this house, but the dad wanted one of the kids to do something for him, and they wouldn't. And so he said, I'll trade you some fingernail polish for a beer. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? So you have to be careful. You have to be careful what you say to your children, because they'll repeat it to complete strangers making art journals with them. <laughs> okay? They will, com they, they will completely repeat it. Janet, you weren't well. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, Jess. We're happy you're here. I know, right? You have to be careful. You have to be careful, right? What you say. Janet, so many people had questions. Hi, Ann. Many people had questions. So you guys, did you ask Janet your questions? Okay, Janet, one person had the question. Do you have to fill the whole page? <laughs> You have to, you have to fill the page. Do you have to fill the whole page? Hi, Linda. Do you have to fill the whole page in the journal to participate? Hi, Elizabeth. K 
kids are little sponges, right? But can you imagine? I'm like thinking, I'll trade you fingernail polish for a beer. I thought that was weird. Kathy says she told her grandson that PMS meant putting up with men's shit. <laughs> got called to school and he made you go with him oh kathy that is brilliant pms putting up with men shit perfect perfect <laughs> so janet's saying no it's your book your deal just to make you happy see i told you ladies it wasn't like that okay <laughs> kathy that is brilliant brilliant okay all right, I'm getting distracted. Okay, let me see. I'm just going to see what I have. Okay, I have more tickets. Let me find my tickets. I know I already put them down once, but I've got extras, you guys, because I've been saving my stuff. Oh, my God, that is brilliant, putting up with men's shit. I love it, Kathy. Awesome. That is funny. <laughs> We're all really good, Elizabeth. How are you? <laughs> Scotty says you're the captain of your color book. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Oh, my gosh. You guys, go on over. Please make sure you go over and subscribe. She, she should have a 1,000 subscribers, and you guys all go and share the love and participate, whether you can get it finished by March or not. I may work on mine for the rest of the year, like, you know, I've been collecting stuff because you know I told you guys about my ridiculousness, right? I told you guys all about my ridiculousness. So I got a lot of ridiculousness going on in my world. So I am I may just continue. And I may do, I don't know if I'm going to continue because I've done it in a book. I don't know what I'm going to put on the other side. I don't know. Maybe I'll just draw on the other side. Maybe I won't. I don't know yet. You have two rolls of tickets. Awesome. Happy Friday, Julie. You can lurk. You lurk away, Miss Jess. You lurk. Why not? I'm having a really good time working on it, too. I think it's been really fun. So, Janet, we're all happy that you, that you chose to do this. Janet, tell everybody when you stream. You guys, she streams on Ustream. And her channel is Monkey Island Madness on Ustream. So you guys have to have to go over and check out. But tell everybody when you stream. You always have fun when you go to Janet's house for artsy stuff. Oh, that's awesome. Good. Janet has over 900 subbies. You guys, you got to help her get to 1,000. So, you guys, check it out. I know when I, <clears throat> I've been a subbie for, of Janet's for a while, and when I realized that she didn't have 1,000 subbies, I was not happy. That did not make me happy. You guys, until this whole YouTube partnership thing came up, I was completely unaware of all of that. I was not. Oh, you guys, I lucked out on the cartoon character part. I'm going to show you what I found today. Or actually, my daughter did when she was cleaning up my mat. You guys have some cool magazines, but I don't exactly know where it came from. But look, this magazine was all about cartoon characters. Like, let's see, like Marvel car cartoon characters. I was shocked. It was like, look at all these cool cartoon characters. Isn't that cool? The Cyclops, Superman. Shazam. We've got all kinds of cool ones. Oh, no. What's going to be worth double points? I, I missed what you said, Jana. I, somebody repeat what you just said. I wasn't looking at the chat. It's hard for me to... It's hard sometimes to, like, look at the chat. You guys try it sometimes. It's kind of hard to look at the chat and and work on your stuff at the same time. And you guys, how many of you guys were over at Meridol's tonight? I This is going to do twofold. It's a flag. I know it has, uh, oh my gosh, what is her name, you guys? I can't think of her name. Elvira. It has Elvira on it, but it's the only flag picture I found so far. 
You're 901 now. Awesome. If you use one thing for multiple prompts, you'll get double points. I've done a few of those, unfortunately, because that's what I have. But I think it's good. Elizabeth, go and subscribe. If you look in the subscription box, the description box below, Janet's video right there. If you click on that, you can, um, it'll take you to the video. Janet, put your Instagram, can, can you write the name of how they find you on Instagram so that they can get the list or put your email however they find you to, to get the list if you guys don't want to do it like me and just watch the video and write it down. 922 now? Awesome! You guys go on over and show her some love. I'm serious. It's, it's flooding where you are, Keala? And Fayetteville, too? Ooh. I know VA was telling me that it's it's been raining where she is, too. You guys, be safe. You can always get new stuff. You can't get new you. This year, the weather patterns have been horrible. Horrible. Horrible, horrible. guys, it was raining here for days and days and days. And you guys, we have, we get really bad flash floods when it rains here. Because, you know, when you live on an island and it's really dry, you guys, it can, it can be bad. We have, we can have rock slides and all kinds of stuff like that. When people that are coming to visit for vacation, they don't really take into consideration that the ocean is not forgiving. And Mother Nature here is, although incredibly beautiful, is very, very you have to be really careful. You have to. So I don't know what this magazine was, but then I don't know where I got it, but it was full of cartoon characters. So I loved it. So I'm going to put it on my cartoon character page. So how many of you guys went to Marital's? Oh no. School's closed because of the rain? What happened, Mary Kay? Was that from rain? Hi, Mary Lou. Yeah, the flooding in my area. Yes, Kayla, it was horrible. You guys, it was horrible. And that's why, like, somebody said something kind of, like, cheeky to me. They said, how are you? And I said, it's raining. And they were like, oh, like, oh, you don't like rain. As if it was, like, some big snowstorm. And I was like, you have no idea. When it starts raining, we don't have proper draining things. Like, you guys, there's no infrastructure I mean, I guess a really well-planned out island would have infrastructure, but it's not, this is not that, you guys. So, it, it, yeah, we don't even have storm drains. <clears throat> I mean, we have sort of some ditches, kind of. We, Mary Lou, we are working on Janet's scavenger hunt book. And Janet is here tonight, so you can say hi to her. So, so you guys go on over and check out her channel so that you, so that you guys can get. A bus ran off the road and had you had to rescue kids and a driver where you are, Kayla. Oh my God, that's horrible. The city put. A new telephone pole through your sewer drain, Mary Kay. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. You guys, that's unbelievably ridiculous. Okay, cartoon characters on page 32. So you guys, I made mine out of an old book, but you guys make yours out of whatever you want. Because you guys know how much I collect old books and how much I love them. I love my old books. I love my old books. So I have small books going on. That's just horrible. That's a North Little Rock that happened, Kayla? Oh, that's horrible. You guys, please be safe. Please. You know, I was born and raised in that town in Texas where that flooding happened. You know, where, like, the whole town was underwater, whatever, and everybody lost everything. 
You guys, some people didn't make it out because they valued, like, they were holding on to their stuff instead of realizing stuff can be replaced, but your life can't. So please be safe. You know, please, please, please. Please, please, please. You know, safety first. Janet, this has been a really fun project, though. I'm, I'm, I've been excited to work on it. I've been working on it for a while. I didn't work on it on air for a while, but I've been working on it for a while. And then finally just said, I'm going to really commit to it and just finish it. Okay, you guys, look at Janet's chat, and that's her email right there. And she's, she, she's saying if you email her, she will send you the list. She'll email you the document. Oh, we're happy, Janet, we're happy you're here with us. Are you kidding? We're all, we've been working on it. Um, Tracy finished hers, I think. Miss Nana, it's in Nana's place, Miss Trace. She's usually here hanging out with us. I'm sure if she's feeling up to it, she'll be here tonight. She is usually here, and, you know, it's, you know what's great about it, Janet, is everybody can do it. It doesn't take, you know, I think sometimes we pick projects, and, they're a little, they can be intimidating, right? But this one, everybody can do. And you can do it with your kids. Like, I tried to get my, my youngest daughter, who's 11, to, to hang out and do it with me. She helped me find some of the things, but she was like, she was like, initially she did a little bit, but then after a while she was like, I want to go play, you know? But I think it would be fun to, but I've done glue books with her before, so maybe it's because it's overkill for her. Hi, Deb. How many Debs do we have? We have Deborah and Debbie, and I think we have another Debbie too, right? Well, hello to all of the Debs. And we usually have multiple Carlas, and we usually have a few, I think we have more than one Linda. So, so hello to all of you, and I'm happy that you joined us. And if you guys want to go over and join in this join in the scavenger hunt I linked Janet's channel below Janet M Young here on YouTube and you can join the scavenger hunt you can do it anytime even after the deadline it's not really about that but I think she's giving Janet what kind of prize are you giving honestly that was not my motivation so I didn't really pay attention she's doing a drawing if you complete yours by March 1st but you have to do what do they have to do? They have to send you what? I can't remember all of it. You guys, that, that that was not my that was not my main focus. Ooh, look, I have lots of superheroes. I've got lots of cartoon superheroes. Lots of them. You have too many things going on, Mary Lou. Oh, we all do. We all do. She is making one of her famous journal covers. Is that as the prize? That's awesome. And for all of you that attended my birthday bash, I haven't mailed out the prizes yet. I will email you once I do or post it in Crafting Mamas. You left it up to your Ustream audience to decide. But that's awesome. Janet, can you post again when you're live on Ustream? I'm sorry I missed it because I was gluing. I wasn't paying attention. And that way I'll say it out loud if you post it again. My prizes are on the way. Yes, you won a journaling kit from Amberly, and I sent her your address. But you guys just be patient with me. I have to tell you, it took a little recovery after the after the birthday week. <laughs> it took a little recovery after the birthday week, you guys. The birthday week was fun, but it was it was intense, right? It's intense. All right, you guys, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Okay, so Janet's on Ustream. 
Monkey Island Madness is her channel on Mondays at 1 p.m. Eastern. 1 p.m. Eastern. Okay, so you guys make sure that's when she's live. So if you guys want to go over and check her out live, it's 1 p.m. Eastern, Monkey Island Madness on Mondays on Ustream. Oh, Malia, that sounds awesome. Malia's doing her own version of a scavenger hunt, making the pages about herself. The post office here, I can't even tell you guys how ridiculous the post office here, here is. If I even got into the ridiculousness that the post office is here, you guys would just laugh. But it's just about like anything, I think, in a small place it is okay number 34 I think I've already done 34 but I think I have another napkin you guys would have laughed so hard so I had my daughter my littlest daughter she was helping me clean up my mess and she was like here I found another napkin she's so sweet I love Dee Dee. Okay, but she comes on for me, you guys. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning my time. So sometimes when I have insomnia, I'll watch her live. Otherwise, I have to watch her. Otherwise, I have to watch her when she's recording, when it's recorded. And you can see Dee Dee Willingham. Um, she comes on really early in the morning on Ustream. I think it's, what time is it, like 9 a.m.? Is it 9 a.m., um, Janet, that she comes on on Ustream, Dee Dee? So I, I watched Dee Dee, and that's how I met Janet, was watching Dee Dee Willingham. And I love, if you guys haven't checked her out, you are in for a treat. Dee Dee Willingham is the bomb.com. She is amazing, and she is fun to hang out with. And she live streams like two or three times a week. But it's super early for me. It's Eastern time. I think it's nine, 8 or 9 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, she does coffee and art in the mornings at 9 a.m. Mondays and Wednesdays. And sometimes Saturdays. And sometimes Saturdays. When she's on. But so 9 a.m. for me is like 4 in the morning. Okay. So sometimes I catch her live. But sometimes I don't. Because it be early, it be early for me. Somebody asked me what my time zone was. It is our own time zone, you guys. It's called like Hawaii something time. I can't remember because we do not do daylight saving time. So right now, it's only five hours. We're only five hours difference between the East Coast, but. When you guys are no longer on daylight saving time, we're six hours. And so when you guys are on six hours difference, Dee Dee comes on at 3 a.m. for me. Isn't that crazy? Yay! So here I have another, have a little napkin going on here. I will say the one thing that this scavenger hunt book has made me do is realize that I have a lot of stuff that I don't always use. Is anybody else guilty of that here? Not at Crafting Mamas, right? Nobody. Everybody uses everything they have, right? You guys are always using your stuff up. That's my neighbor's dog. Sorry, guys. Hi, BJ. Oh, we're so happy to see you. I'm so happy you guys are here. How are you, Miss BJ? So, what else did I do this week? Well, first of all, it's been a little weird since I streamed every day last week. It seems a little bit weird. We will eventually use it up, you think, Kathy? I don't know. No, Shelly, you don't have any overflow stashes. <laughs> you don't have a hoarding problem. Oh, gosh, you guys. 
The baby's doing good except for the 3 a.m. party time. Okay. Awesome, Amber. Good for you. You put up your first video. For all you brave souls out there, put doing your videos. So for my week has been a little weird because I was streaming every day last week. So Jane says she's gathering things faster than she can use them up. Am I alone? N no, Jane, you're not. You're not alone in any way, shape, or form. You know, I've been making a bunch of altered books this week. That's what I, my focus has been on. My focus has been on making some altered books. I have them done in various stages because when I started cleaning up my... So you guys know my craft room saga story, right? So I already told you, if you have, if you don't know it, I'll just give you the abbreviated version. I have grown kids that moved away. So then I took over the spare bedroom and used it as my craft room. And then my daughter, who was away at college, decided to come home for college. And so I had to move all my stuff, but it's been back and forth because one would move out and then it was empty for a really long time and I didn't move in. And then finally I'm like, I'm going to do it. So I've moved my stuff, I would say, in the past six months about four times. So now I have finally moved everything back out. I reset, finally her room is reset up. Okay, napkins I did. So her room is reset up. So now, you guys, my craft space is just like a disaster. You're watching the Olympics, Cheryl? Oh, awesome. Hi, Diana. How are you? Hi, Cassandra. You need to throw things out so you have space to craft. I can relate, girl. Well, the hard part for me was I had moved it all. I've moved it so many times. I moved it when they did all that work on my house. I moved it all from my craft space, and that's when I decided I was going to take over that space. And then I got shelves, and I put them all up, and it's different size than where my space was before. And then, I, anyway, it's all good. So, hi, Therese. How are you? Hi, Miss T. Miss Teresa. Take care, Diana. Big hugs. You get a badge, BJ, of course. So, what is new with you guys? So, this week was a little weird because I was doing all the streaming and now I haven't been streaming so much, which was good. I mean, I had lots of stuff I needed to do. Local business cards. Oh, I want to show you guys this. This is cool. So I did collect some local business cards. Aren't they pretty? I don't know if you can see them, but one of them was a photographer and one of them was for an artist. Aren't they cool? This is for an artist who does paintings. And this was for a photographer. I thought they, I thought they were really cool. You've been making painting papers, Lucinda? Oh, good for you. Hi, Danina. How are you, honey? Hi, Therese. We're happy you're here. We have a Therese and a Teresa. I know, right? These are really nice business cards. Because I usually don't collect business cards, but in my stuff, I found them. And I think I might have a few more in my... So I made a little pocket in the back of my altered book. If you guys go back and watch some of my altered book videos, I think I have a couple of them on there. I, on my, on my channel, I have, I make pockets in the back of my books, so this one must be, have stamps in it. I just tried to put a bunch of stuff in here that I thought I might want to use. You used a plumber's card? You know, Gina, I live in the Hawaiian Islands, so most of the people here, if you're going to get a business card, it's going to be from somebody who's selling you something I don't even think the guy that even fixes our I don't think the guy that does our plumbing or does stuff like that even has a business card I thought this was kind of cool it's like a sales tag I thought I had a few more I know I saved a few more business cards I just don't know where they ended up maybe they ended up in here here's my stickers and I have some more let's see let's see what else I can do you guys, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it, if you wouldn't mind. And did you guys... Okay, so how many of you guys checked the description box and went and watched the videos and the channels that I recommended last week? I recommended 
What? You, what do you want with Scotty? What? I missed that. Because the chat sometimes goes by faster than I can read. I can watch it. It does sometimes. So in the description box last week, I had Randy Purcell. You're working on, I'm working on, yes, it's Janet Scavenger Hunt. And Janet's right here. Danina, say hi to her. So Randy Purcell, he's the guy that does the encaustic art. And if you guys haven't checked out his channel, go and watch it. He's awesome. And he's new. And tell him I sent you, you know. He's like awesome. And then Jessica Rapp. And you guys, you we love Jessica. She does beautiful vintage junk journals. Go over and check her out. I think you'll really like her. And then Anne recommended G. Kerr. And you guys go check her out. I love her work. She does really, really beautiful beautiful artwork, right? And then also there's Care's channel and Janet's channel, but I added somebody new this week. And I want you guys to go check her out and see and see if you like her artwork, okay? Her the, the name of her channel is N O I T Art. How do you say that word? Noe, Noe Art. You guys go watch her. She makes a newspaper art journal and it is gorgeous. I mean, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Well, I'm glad you went to Jana's channel, Lucinda. I'm glad you guys, we have to support each other as art. You went to Randy Jane. Oh, good. Don't you like his work? Oh my gosh, you guys, his work, his work blows me away. I don't know if I would ever be able to do, I don't know if I'd have the patience to do the, the work he does. I don't know if I'd have the patience, but I really like his work. So, all right, let's see what else I have going on. And I appreciate it. Thumbs up, ladies. I really appreciate it. Okay, so let's see what I have. I have, I'm not, I don't have page two because I haven't, I haven't done my coloring yet. I've got to get my coloring book pages out. And number three, the label off a blanket. I know I have that. Maybe it's in here. I thought that I took, I could have sworn I took one. But you guys, oh, look, I have another one of those little crazy credit cards, those fake credit cards. And I have a sticker. I have some more stamps. I know I got a blanket thing, blanket tag. Just but where did I put it? That is the real question. That's why I made that little pocket in the back, you guys, because I was stuffing everything between the pages of the book. And I think that some of it might have fallen out when I moved it. Because I, I was moving my art room, you guys. All right. I don't know if I... Where's that label? I know I had one from a pillow, but it was tiny. Well, I'll have to find that because I don't have that. Let's see. So, let's see. Flower or leaf I know I have. You gave him lemonade? What? I could never do it either, Ann, but isn't he awesome, though? He's just so awesome, and he really deserves, like, what is a cistern? A cistern is a water cistern. They usually, the only cisterns I've ever been to, and maybe there's another definition for a cistern, it's something that holds water or holds, um, when I was in Israel, when I was actually in Jerusalem, in the Holy City, I, I went in actually into the water cistern that's underneath, um, underneath the city. It was amazing. What happened? I missed this. What, what are we talking about? Giving somebody lemonade? I gotta go back up. Guys, I'm missing the whole chat. Oh my gosh. So, Scotty, I'm not going to say that out loud, but that is crazy. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, that's in. That's that's crazy. That's really crazy. That's crazy, Scotty. Okay, I know I have a whole page of blue stuff. Okay, let's see. Number six, photo of a celebrity. Okay, let, let me just go through it all. The tea, the tea bag or envelope is page one. Page two is a coloring page. 
and page three is a label off a blanket or a pillow or the label off a mattress that says do not remove. Number four is a friends in the ask a fib, which is a fib is a friends in the box to send you something. And I put what Maridel Abrams, which I hope you guys are going over and subscribing to her channel. She's so awesome. Um, her channel is the Mary Atelier, or I said it's Atelier, but I but I heard her say it Atelier, and so you guys should go and check her out, Maridel Abrams. She's awesome. So she sent me this from one of her little live streams that she did. Number five, include something you normally throw away, and this was from a bike. And then number six, photos of celebrities. So I did add some more since last week. Last week we were kind of Rihanna heavy. This week we have some Tony Curtis and um, Jack Lemon from Some Like It Hot. We have Sting and his wife, Robin Williams. I have some Renee Zellweger. So this week we I've added some to that. Number seven, a flower or a leaf. And I just put Bougainvillea because that's right outside my window, but I could add some more. This is the crossword puzzle page. That it I have. And then a greeting card sentiment is on page nine, and I don't have that one yet. The junk mail envelope. Well, you guys saw me add this, and I started doodling on it. Hey, Therese. We're so happy you're here. Hi, Joyful. We're happy you're here. Welcome, welcome. So I doodled on my junk mail envelope. I'm kind of liking the way it's coming out. And let's see, number 11, a whole page of blue stuff I did. And let's see, what is number 12? A craft store receipt. I found a craft store receipt. We found a craft store receipt. There we go. Craft store receipt. And number 13, a tip-in. So I used the envelope that Meridel's Happy Mail came in for my tip-in. So let me see if you can see. Oh, you can't. I thought her channel might be on here. You guys, can somebody put the Mary Atelier's uh, name and link into the chat? Hi, James. How are you? We're happy to see you. Welcome. Okay, number 14, the dry cleaning tag. That one I think I'm going to have to make up on my own because I don't do any dry cleaning here. Number 15, a newspaper article. And you guys, the one I put was the big controversy here. You know, they're opening up a cannabis dispensary here, and it's been a big controversy. Not because people have any issues with it, but because they did something crazy. Like, there's only two people that could sell here, and... And you had to enter a lottery and pay some crazy amount of money to enter it, like some million dollars or something. It was really ridiculous. Okay, local business card. I have two of those. I have some stamps going on. Some stamps. A food logo. I have those. I did the food logo. And I was just kind of cutting them off of, can you see how boring we are? We don't really have... We try to eat a lot of fresh stuff so that doesn't come with a... Susan hasn't taught you how to do it. I don't know how to do it either. I just thought it would be really nice to put Marital's channel in here. Because since I'm talking about her. Here's my, my lonely page of washi tape that needs some work. Let's see. 20 local attractions brochure. Well, I added the shark that we used in the paper dolls during the live stream, which I like. And then 21, Pop Top. I don't have that in yet. 22, a piece of swapped art. So I added, I'm going to add more, but this is a, this was a card that Fabian made me. And this was an art tile, an inchy that Meridel made me. And I made it into a paper, to, uh, paper clip embellishment. So I added that. This was my failed attempt at doing the testing of those water pastel things when I put the paper down on it they ran those things that I used last week they're like cray paws but they're actually watercolor ones we are junk journalers what do we throw away nothing right I don't throw away anything Amber that's probably about C 
Sandy. Janet's right here. She'll, she'll, um, she'll tell you. Hi, Daisy. How are you? Welcome. Meridal sent you some too. I don't you love her. There we go. There's Meridal's channel right there. Okay, 23 was the test of art supplies. 24 is a sleeve from a hot beverage. That, my daughter said she's bringing me home tonight. So I said, awesome. And 25 was my ransom note cut out from letters. Well, you guys know we were having that big hubbub last week and discussing how Hobby Lobby throws away unused art supplies, right? And we were having that whole ridiculous hubbub. So I wrote a letter, my ransom notes to Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby, free me from the trash can so I will become a treasure. Hey, Sass. My battery did not come yet, but it is on its way. It, I think it'll be here delivered next Friday. It was supposed to, I thought it was this Friday. Hey, dude. Hi, I don't know. What is it? Dude, 101,659. Welcome. Welcome. So Jillian says a linked work, Scotty. So that was my ransom note was to ask Hobby Lobby to free the supplies. Photos of someone you love. And this is what I did with you guys last week. The transfer, the transfer from the laser jet printer. So I hope you guys try that. My night is going well, Elizabeth. Thanks. Um, who asked the question? You guys write the question to Janet in all caps and then I'll and I'll see it. This was a recipe. This was a recipe. And recipe from your grocery store. I got that one. What's number 28? Packaging from a recent purchase. I do have some of that. Let's see. We're happy you're here, Carrie. How are you feeling, Mama? Was there something inappropriately said? I, I missed it. You guys, I'm not always the best. You know, I miss, I miss sometimes I'll look down and then that's it. So this was from something, or re, some recent packaging, right? Wasn't that what it was? The recent packaging that we discarded. Number 28, let's see. Packaging from a recent purchase. So we'll put our cool whip there because we can't have too much cool whip in my house. Although we, I think this was from, I think this was Cool Whip for the birthday extravaganza. I think it was for the, I told you guys I made a death by chocolate cake and you have to, and you put whipped cream or something on it and let's just say the heat does not do well with whipped cream, but it will do fine with non-dairy creamer. So take that for whatever you did. Take that, take that for what it's worth. So there's packaging from a recent purchase. Okay, and then let's see what else is next. Okay, packaging from a recent purchase. And then we'll say doodles, lots of doodles. So I have to doodle on this page. Stickers off of fruit, I have a few. You guys, most of the fruit we get, we grow ourselves, so we don't, they don't come with stickers, but some came on some avocados. We love you, Trace. How are you feeling, Mama? Thanks, Scotty. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. We're not talking about you. We were just saying we loved you. That's all we said. You guys, I'm from Texas. Cool Whip is a food group. Stickers off of fruit. We had some. And let's see, 31 quotes I love. I haven't done that one yet. 
And then I just did my cartoon character page. I just did my cartoon character page. And page number 33 is duct tape. And I have one small piece of duct tape. I can look, I can add, I can find some more. So page 33 and then page 34 is napkins. Look, my daughter just came home and brought me these. Woo! And a new gift card. Okay, you guys, this is terrible, I know, but these are my favorite painting cards. These Starbucks car cards are my favorite. And if you ask them, they will give them to you. If you ask them, they usually discard a whole bunch because people, you know, redeem them and they just throw them in the, in the trash. Okay, this one I have to do some plaid on, which I haven't done that. The paper airplane made out of wrapping paper, I did that. The crayon page I did, I think that's my favorite page so far. The crayon labels and the paper airplane. And my ribbon, I had a big piece of ribbon, but I fell out. I'll have to find that. I need to put my ribbon here. And my postcard, I decided to use this postcard. I was gonna use those little fairy postcards, but I decided instead to use up this takeout delivery postcard from somewhere in New York, but I thought I was so happy and I loved it. And I just kind of put it in like a, a tip in. I liked it. Hey, Stace. How are you? The sheet music, I got my sheet music going on. And my daughter gave me two fortunes that she had in her wallet. How are you? How are your babies? Debbie, you used to alter and swap these. That's really cool. I am good. You guys, if you have not joined over to Pink Poodle Crafts, you guys are missing it. Go on over and Stacy will be live in just a little bit. And what are you going to make tonight, Mama? She made some cool stuff on Wednesday, mixed media mashup. And let me tell you something. Stacy is the bomb.com as far as, like, she can live stream and make the most amazing things. You guys go on over and make sure you check her out. You're going to love it. The babies are good. And she got two new babies. Two new little pups. They're so cute. Winnie and Willow. <laughs> God, Stacy. So I don't know how it got on tonight, but tonight was, as Scotty said, everyone here is braless except for maybe James because he didn't share. James, are you braless? <laughs> we just all want to know. Okay. Okay. Forty-three was pa paper candy wrappers. Can you tell what was popular in my house? Some Dove chocolate, something from Christmas, some Christmas, and a Jolly Ranchers. There you go. We have our, oh, I have some more. I have some, I have some more. I have some, can you tell I must have done some St. Patrick's Day things? You guys don't really realize what you can't or don't have until you move someplace like me living in the tropics. When you move to Hawaii, you suddenly, and you just don't have things that you would get on the mainland. Or you don't want to buy them because they're ridiculously overpriced and you're like, I'm not doing it. And Kayala can vouch for me because she is, her sister lives right where I live and she is from Hawaii. <laughs> Stacy says a bra. What the heck? What the hell is bra? You guys make sure you join. Stacy does every Wednesday mixed media mashup and it's so fun. You guys... <laughs> Stacy says the best feeling. Hi, Carla. She says the best feeling in the world is when you can come home and take off your bra. You guys, since I don't work a big corporate job anymore, I don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't worry about it. When I used to work a big corporate job, I was forced to wear one every day. And now that I don't work a big corporate job anymore, I live my life the way I want. You know, I don't, I don't focus on that. I don't focus on the brawl. 
I'm going to put this piece of paper here. Okay, so I've done that. Let's see what else after that. This is number 45. 45 is entangled. I've got to do my entangle. I haven't done that yet. 46 is the edge of notebook paper, which can I tell you, I really like. I'm going to look for some more and put some more down here. The edge of the notebook paper with hole, with the holes part. And I actually like that. I think that would be a really cool background. Oh my God. Still a picture of me chasing the tumbler in the car. Oh my God. Yes, that was so ridiculous. <laughs> Stacy says hers looked like sandbags, but at least, but who cares? At least she could stop a flood. Oh my God. Stacy, you weren't here for my ridiculous story, but one, you guys, the most ridiculous things happened to me. One morning, I ended up running out of the house. I, I, I had made Hottie some coffee, and I see him getting in the car, and I see the mug on top of the car, like the whole, my to-go cup. And I have a thing with to-go cups. Okay, I love to-go cups. But no matter how many, and I and I say my to-go cups are off limits because he loses them all the time. Or he loses parts of them, like the lid of them. So then they become obsolete, Right? So they're telling the story about how I ended up. So I'm like waving at him. And you guys have to realize it is early in the morning. We have to leave our house in order to get to school. We have to leave like at 645. So it's not even light out. I mean, it is, but barely, you know. And I'm like waving, flailing. And they're both looking right at me. Nothing. And I go running out. You guys, it was not a pretty sight. And my neighbors were like, thanks, thanks for the show. <laughs> Thanks for the show. Uh, let's just say, let's just say my friends are very large. <laughs> like if you ever, have you ever watched after 9-11 happened, all these things? Oh my God, you have no idea. It was ridiculous, Sass. It was totally ridiculous. Bigger than that, Jane. Bigger than that. I I'm in the alphabet that it's very, like, you can't buy it at the department store. Okay? I, I right after 9-11 happened, I lived in New York City. And right after 9-11 happened, they had all these series of, like, things on television. Like, if you ever encounter, you know, smoke or dust or whatever, to take your bra off. Are you ready to this? Yes, my girls were knocking down some trees. <laughs> That's right, Amber. <laughs> oh, my God. Amber, I hope you have a wonderful night. Thanks for hanging out. Yes, it's definitely a hot ho. Oh, my God. Kelly, you have no idea. The elderly the elderly Japanese couple that live behind my, live right behind my house. Like they're, I live kind of up on a hill. They live right there. The lady who always tells me my birds are pooping in her yard, like the birds in nature are pooping in her yard. Her and her husband roll up and they, I'm running down the road. You guys, I ran out my door, ran through the garage, ran out my street. And then I live right on a corner. So I had to run and I'm running down the street flailing. You guys, that they pulled up next to me in their, in their truck and, and they just rolled out the window. Nice show. Oh, my God. You have no idea. So back to the 9-11 story. So they told you to take your bra off and use it as a mask. Okay, guys? I can take my bra off, and I can wear it as a hat. One of the cups is a hat. Do you get Do you get the idea? Do you get the idea? Like, it wouldn't just cover. It would cover my whole face. It would cover my whole head. It's ridiculous. And I'm not saying that it's something. That, when, you, when you're born like that, all you do is think about how you, how you wish you didn't have that. I don't remember that. <laughs> right? They were telling you, take your bra off and use it as a mask. <laughs> no, I wasn't naked, Carrie. I was wearing pajamas, but I didn't have on a bra. And I was running down the road, chasing him, trying to get his attention because he had my to-go cup on the top of the car. And I was like, and then he comes back. Then I, then I come back in and he drove back in and it's like, how's your coffee? He came back. He was down the road. I don't, anyway. And the only reason why he came back in was because he was, the only reason why he even drove back was because he was missing the connector, the little connector so he could listen to this, the iPod, the, the songs on his phone in the car because the baby wanted to listen to him. You guys, that's my life, okay? Something from your local library. Well, this was the, the card part, you know, when they, you know, because I get a lot of my books. This was, I thought it was kind of cool. They sliced it. It was just part of the card from the library book that I got. 
page 48 and 49 are of my choice. Which I don't know what I'm going to do on those yet, but I still have a little bit of time. Page 50 is ticket stubs, and I got some from the movie theater from my daughter. Movie buff newspaper headline. Okay, guys, the new this is we have a whole headline section here called the Coconut Wireless. I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Oh my god, you guys have no idea. One for me and one for a friend. <laughs> oh, Jamie, yes, one for me and one for a friend. <laughs> You could use yours as earmuffs. Oh no, mine's like <laughs> I could save a group of others. Helen says, <laughs> "Oh my god, oh my god!" I totally was, Stace. And the worst part is, my neighbors don't get me started on coconuts. But you guys, how many? I should show you guys some of the headlines in our newspaper. Coconut Wireless is a whole page. Kayla can vouch. Eyeballs and legs and hidden paper clips. That's right. Eyeballs, legs, hidden paper clips, and boobs. This was my fashion model. I liked her. You had to have a page of a fashion model. I had that. Nail polish on something I don't have. I do have it, but I just didn't do anything with nail polish yet. And then perfume spray on a journal. I haven't done that yet because I think I'm going to try to find some perfume bottles. The 55 airline luggage tags. Yes, I found some. Actually, guys, we travel so much. I thought for sure I would have multiples, but I guess one of my daughters thinks that it's ridiculous that they're usually on there, so she took it off. OGG is where we live. That's Maui. So this, I was coming from Phoenix because there's no real, there's no direct flights. You have to fly through. I don't know. There might be direct flights now. I don't know. The OGG to Maui. You guys, my life. I have to sing the jingle. I have to sing the jingle. I can't sing the jingle. Okay, Ella. It's ridiculous. You guys. So the one of the wonderful things, but also the annoying thing about living here is that, and you can ask your, you can ask my kids. It's like if you do something wrong, I'm telling you, coconut wireless works so good here. Before you get home, your mother knows. You know, before you actually get home, your mother knows that you what you've done. So like we didn't, you don't really need any, you don't really even need any sort of any sort of anything here because everybody will know all about it all the time all the time it's ridiculous but that's how it rolls here definitely the epitome of a small town which doesn't bother me at all but you know my kids growing up you know and everybody's auntie here by Stace oh thanks and I'll be over to see you guys. Stacy's on in just a little bit over at Pink Poodle Crafts. Making some amazing things, I'm sure. You guys, she makes it from real supplies, not trash like me. <laughs> you heard a coconut wire-free bra. Oh my god. No, it is like a small town, but it's like an it's like the island thing. So that's why like there's not a lot of there might be some petty crime here, but not really, you know, and usually what happens is, is if there's any spree of anything, it's taken care of in a way that I don't necessarily agree with that sort of vigilante type style uh, <laughs> policing, but it happens here, you know, it's like, and usually if there's any real crime or anything like that, um, the guys who live on an island, they run them off. You know, they run them off. So, I mean, it's good and bad, right? As far as, like, it's good for that. But when you're a kid growing up, you can't really get away with doing anything because your mother will find out about it. Small town big boobs. That's right, Jane. Oh, you know I must have been the talk of my neighborhood. Are you kidding? Me with my boobs running down the street. They're, like, talking about me, I'm sure. Between that and my birds, right? The birds, that, the, the birds that she claims are mine that poop in nature, but that poop in her yard, right? Okay, so that's page 55 is done. 
airline luggage tag. Okay, the lyrics of the song I don't have yet either. I can throw this away. Okay, let's see. The lyrics of her song, page 57, rubber stamping. Ooh, rubber stamping. You guys know I like some rubber stamping. Okay, I think I'm going to adjust on my page because I would like my stamping to show up. I say I'm going to adjust my page, but maybe I don't have my gesso. You guys, this is how my day rolls today. I thought I brought it over here, but maybe I didn't. But I have some white paint, so I'll use that. Oh my gosh, you guys. I did not play basketball. Scotty, Scotty, I am five foot two. Okay. I did not play basketball. No. I did not play basketball. I was in the marching band. I was like, you know, I did marching band and that sort of stuff. I did not. Elizabeth, you know what? I took a class in making making bras and actually you can make your, it's not as hard as you think you lived on an island in Maine and you didn't like it Susan it does get small you know <laughs> Lucinda said she heard Dolly Parton once say she couldn't she couldn't jog because she would black out her eyes you know what Lucinda I can relate although you know what when I was in high school I did try to run the track I did run on the track team I was a fast runner, but it is really painful. You know, it's not, it's painful. Midget, <laughs> midget basketball. Yes, I could work, I could be on the midget basketball team. I'm rubber stamping over the immigrants. I am. I'm going to rubber stamp with my Gabriella Polacco bubble stamp, you guys. I have to use it. And I'm going to use my Carla Cage Fish circle stamp that Shannon Green says looks like boobs. <laughs> She says concentric circles remind her of boobs. Did she remember when she was here and she told us that? Everybody totally knows your business here. Well, it's a little bit different because most of the people that come to visit are tour. We have such a high volume of tourist trade, you know, tourists that come here. Like, I think, I think the local census says there's like, I don't know, 100,000 people that live on this island, I'm guessing. I'm just, I don't remember. But that when the when the tourists come, it, it's over a million or something like that. You've ne I'll never see concentric circles the same way again either. <laughs> Apt stamp for, t I love that stamp, you guys. I, I do. But I also really love this Gabriella Polacco bubble stamp. Of course, it didn't stamp really well because I don't have enough ink on it. But I like this Gabriella Placo bubble stamp, too. You're so funny, Jane. I know, right? It's ridiculous. So what are you guys going to do for the weekend? Do you guys have some weekend plans? I hope you guys have weekend plans. I hope you guys are going to do fun weekend plans. I'm going to try to get my stamp pad going here you guys there's a couple of people in our crafting moms that haven't been feeling really good and if you guys wanted to send them a little happy mail I think even if just just an envelope with a little card and a couple of tidbits I think it would make them a whole lot happier I mean you know it's like when you're going through a hard time it's difficult how many of you guys are going to do celebrate Cassandra's mom's 90th birthday how many of you guys are doing that How many of you guys are going to do that? My bubbles aren't coming out so good because I don't think my page is dry, but that's okay. I'm just going to keep stamping anyway. Um, Sandy, if Janet, Janet, are you still here? Will you give her your email address if you're still here? Yes, we all need to shout out to Pat. Pat, we love you, and I did not have not forgotten you. Send a big love to Pat. Hello, Pat. Hello, hello, hello. So Susan's doing Cassandra's mama card. Oh, good. And Kathy is too. Oh, good. I 
I hear you, Carrie. Jillian saying hi. Kathy saying hi. Lucinda saying hi. Linda saying hi. Scotty saying love you, Pat. You know what, Sandy? Message me over at um, Crafting Mamas, and I'll and I'll get the email address for you too. And Jane saying we love you, Pat. And Susan saying love and hugs and care too. And Deb saying hi, Edna saying hi, Vicky saying hi, Joyce is saying hi, Kayla saying aloha Pat, and Donia saying hi Pat, and Carla F is saying Pat with a kiss hug, kiss hug, kiss hug. Helen says if you Google Janet Young scavenger hunt and click on the images, the first two pages are the list. Awesome. Carrie saying hi Pat. It's Janet M. Dot Young at Yahoo. Did I miss it? Is that what it is? Do you see it? Do you, do you, do you see? She just put her thing right there for you. So you can get the list from her there. Everyone sending you so much love, Pat. We love you and we hope your treatment's going well. Sarita saying hi. Marcy saying hi. Shelly2004, how are you? Love you, girl. She's saying hi, Pat. And Anne saying hi, Pat, my lovely. And Cheryl saying hi. Everybody's saying hi. You guys, it, the the date for the send out of the card, there or the deadline, just to, you can send her a card anytime. She's 94 all year long. You know, I don't think that she's going to have an issue with when she gets a card. Um, I'm just going to do a drawing on the 16th, which is, I think, March 16th. So the deadline, if you're going to send out the card and you want to be in the swap, in the, if you want to participate in the giveaway, which I'm going to give a, a junk journaling kit away. Um, I may give some other bits and pieces too. I don't know. If you're going to participate in the giveaway, you have to have posted your picture um, by March 15th in order to be in, in our Facebook group in the events section that says sending Cassandra's mom, Olivia, a 94th birthday card. If you want to be in the giveaway. If you don't care about the giveaway and that's not any, anything to motivate you, um, then just send the card anytime. Amberly's asking, care do the three colors is black include, is, does the three colors include black? And care saying, yes, Amberly, up to three colors including black. Her address is in the group file. You, Susan, her address, if you go to the event section, it's there, but it's the same address as Cassandra's. But her mom's name is Olivia. Yeah, someone go post the scavenger hunt link in our Crafting Mamas group. and Or if Janet will send it to you, Scotty, you'll do it. Ooh, awesome. That would be awesome. And then everybody can participate. Will you guys please, you know, go over and join. Janet's been working on her scavenger hunt on in her live stream sometimes. And Dee Dee's been working on it too occasionally. So... You guys go over and make sure if you want to watch her next week on Monday, Monkey Island Madness, 1 p.m. Monkey Island Madness on Ustream. You can watch her live and you can chat with her and be a friend in the box. All right, everybody, say hi to Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. How are you? Welcome. You must have missed, I think you might have missed the racy talk, but we're happy you're here. And Jamie's saying hi to you, Jimmy, and Jillian is, and Susan is, and Dawn is, and Kathy is, and I know Pat is. Pat would all, if she was here, she'd be saying hi to you, too. Kara's saying hi. Carrie's saying hi. Lucinda's saying hi. Scotty's saying, Jimmy! They're all saying hi, Jimmy. And we're happy you're here. And we want to know if you're going to craft along with us. He might, you might like to do the scavenger hunt book, too. And Mary Lou's saying hi, Jimmy. And Amberly is too. You will love Janet. She is a hoot. But just make sure that you guys go on over and watch. 
Janet says, all emails for the list were just sent out, so check your email. So you guys, check your email, check your email, check, check, check your email. All right, I got my stamping pad, I got my stamping page done. I may add some more to it later. I think I'd like another color, but I don't have my stamp pads over here. So, and I may go back and try and do my Gabriella Polacco stamp with another color on it. That is number 50. Seven. 57, number 57, rubber stamping, rubber stamping complete, and let's go to the next page, number 58, what is 58, 58 is stickers, I do have some stickers, I do have some stickers, let's see, now I got my coffee sleeves, I have some stickers, Make sure I keep an even number of those boobs. You guys are so bad. Yeah, that's right. Oh my gosh, you guys, seriously. It's ridiculous, yeah? I was going to tell you guys something he did this week, but I can't remember now. You guys, it evades. You know what? It eludes me because he does ridiculous stuff all the time. You guys, my life... In one word, ridiculous. It's always ridiculous. I can't even like, because I can't even, my life gets to be so ridiculous sometimes. You're just like, you go, whose life is this? Who's doing this? It's just me. It's just so me. Ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. <laughs> it's so entertaining without a tip. You're ridiculous, Jane. It's just my life. I have some ridiculous going on. I have some definite ridiculous going on. I can't help it. You guys, even if I try not to be ridiculous, I'm still ridiculous. And that, it, it just is what it is. Like, I can't even get away from it. I could, I could pretend, but you guys are my peeps. You know how it goes. You know how it goes. And it gets, it can get some ridiculous. Okay, so I have some stickers and I have other ones and I'll put some other ones down. I have, I think I do have, in the sticker department, I think I have a few. I have a few. So, let's see, number 59. My family tree. I have, that I wanna take some time with, but I might paint my page out. He's not in my family tree. I don't know him. So I don't necessarily think I want him in my family tree. We, you love my ridiculous? If you guys lived my life, you would be like out of your mind. Some days I just have to shake my head. I'm like, uh, uh, no. No, like the lady, the, my neighbor telling me, please have the birds stop pooping in her yard. I was like, man, if I was that powerful, I would not have you as a neighbor. You know, that, that was my thought, actually. I'd be like, mm. if I was, if I was so powerful to keep the birds from pooping in your yard, I wouldn't have you as a neighbor. Yeah, she came over one day to tell Hottie, well, last week or the week before, she came over to tell him that, you guys, we have a, we have a lawn, remember I told you our lawnmower broke? And he was weed eating the lawn with the, he took it apart and all that whole ridiculousness. And then he ended up having to take it to be fixed because he couldn't fix it. That was, that was, you know, that's a man thing, right? I can do it. And then, sorry, Jimmy, you're listening. We're not man bashing, just my partner. That's all. Okay. So, and we're not really bashing him. He just is ridiculous and he lives in my ridiculous life. So. He was mowing the lawn with the weed eater because the lawnmower broke because I don't know what he did to it. And it was a new lawnmower too. Okay. So anyway, he finally had it fixed. So after he had it, so after he had, so when he would weed eat and you guys, everything in my life grows really fast. Like you, I should take a, I will take a picture and post it in Crafting Mamas. 
So my neighbors have no nothing growing in their yard. And I don't know how they manage that because you guys will live in the tropics. And the side of the island I live on rains more than the others, so everything grows. And everything in my yard, my yard, my tiny yard looks like a jungle. I'm telling you. And we trim it and prune it and cut it and do stuff all the time. So he had been cutting our lawn or what was part, you know, that didn't have plants in it with a weed eater. And then I was raking up all the stuff, even with my bad arm, and raking up all the the stuff. And we have a big compost in the back, but our yard grows so well that we were taking all of our yard trash to the green waste, which is cool. You know, it's like they have a compost at our dump where you take your yard trash and they put it in the green waste and then it's, it's cool because it's, it's the green waste and then you don't have, you know what I mean? They, they make a uh, compost out of it and spread it all over. Then you could go, like you can go pick up loads and loads of compost from them too for free which is really cool so she came over to complain that now we have a, our lawnmower is fixed and our lawnmower is has a bag on it okay it's not it doesn't blow stuff everywhere she came over to complain that our lawnmower or that the seeds from the grass, because it had been raining, you guys, let it rain just a couple of days here and everything grows even bigger, at least in our yard. I don't know what they do in the other yards. But the seeds were blowing over when he cut the grass. I said that's virtually impossible because it's caught in the bag. It, the lawnmower itself is, is bagged. Okay, now I could have seen if she was... I could have seen if she was coming to complain about the calling me to complain about the herb or coming over to complain when he was cutting it with a weed eater, right? But even with a weed eater, you don't cut it small. It's these huge, long pieces of grass, right? And you rake them up. And our grass grows weird here, you guys. I don't know. I'll have to take a picture of it and let you see it. Sort of like, it's, I don't know. So she came over to complain and tell us that the seeds in our lawn were blowing in her, were blowing in her, in her yard. I was just like, uh, I, I, I said, I don't know how that can be because our lawnmower actually have bags it. And when the bag is full, it won't, you can't, when the bag gets full, the lawnmower won't, it's a newfangled one. It won't go so that you don't burn it out. Right. Jillian says she never has drama in Canada. <laughs> Hi, Rhea. Yes, the grass would need to go to seed, but I just think it's that she just, you guys, I think it's just, I don't know. I just think it was just, I think she just really wants to come over and talk to Hottie. Okay, number 60 is lettering practice. I really think that she has a mad crush on him. That's what I told him. I said, I think she has a big crush on you. And he was like, oh, no. I was like, yes, that's what I think. So lettering practice. What can I write? Lettering practice. I love lettering practice. Maybe I want to paint out the top though. Anyway, I think it's just people don't have enough to do. Um, I don't know. She would like, uh, Kayla, she would like us to uh, not grow anything in our yard and cut all of our trees. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Lynn. <laughs> what are you laughing at me? You're laughing. Yes, or I don't know. What? <laughs> what did you say? What is so true? What did I miss? Let's see. All of our lives. <laughs> Julian says all of our lives are ridiculous. That's why we're here. Yeah, <laughs> you can relate. Oh, it's, we have the, so, so many stupid things, you guys. Bye, Jamie. We love you. What did you say? I think everyone on my mother's side shot someone. <laughs> some legal, some not. Don't mess with that side. Oh, good. Oh, my God. You're full of violent stories. It's okay. It's all good. I don't know what she'd have me do. I just think that she, I just think that she just wants to hang out with, with Hottie, honestly. I think that's what it is, what she wants me. I think that's what it is. 
<laughs> I should have said you should that you could thank me later. I think every time she catches me though, Janet, I don't even quite know what to say because it's like, uh, you know, and, and when I, if I see them coming, I hide you guys, because it's ridiculous. It's always about the birds and they, she wants us to cut down this tree that we have. And you guys, the thing is, is our house is up high compared to hers. Like ours is going up the hill. So her house is lower than ours. And in order, this tree is like the wall, like a full, the tree's probably, I don't know, our property line of what she wants us to cut it off. You'd have to stand, Huddy has to stand on like a, a 20 foot ladder just to start trimming it from where her property is. Cause we can't trim it over our fence because I mean, we can trim it on the inside, but the overhang that hangs over Anyway, I think she cuts her lawn with uh, with a pair of scissors, honestly. I think she cuts her lawn with a pair of scissors. And so, you know what? We just go with it. What are we going to do? Like, we, there's absolutely nothing you can do. Like, what can you do? You just go, okay, thank you very much. I don't know, you guys. I, 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 sometimes the two of us just shake our head, and I said, are we crazy or are they crazy? I mean, who's the crazy? And then we just shake our heads. You know, sometimes I want to say to them, you know what? We don't do anything. Like, we don't, we're not making noise. We're not doing, like, we're probably the most boring neighbors ever. We don't do anything. But she definitely, they definitely have it going on. With, she definitely has it out for, I don't know. You guys, it's so ridiculous. So hopefully when we eventually move in the next six months or whatever, we'll be, we'll be moving to a place where we have enough land. Nobody will bother us. Nobody. No one. Yes. My neighbor hat is, you know what it is? I think she's like old and retired. Not that, cause I'm old, you know, so I'm not like saying, but I think she's older and retired and really stuck in her ways. And she doesn't like new things. I should tell her I was stung by one of her bees. <laughs> that would be good. That would be good, Jane. Hello. I've been stung by one of your bees. Some people, they aren't happy. You're right. They are. You're right. But it's the most ridiculous thing. <laughs> you should have seen Hottie's face. You should have seen Hottie's face. <laughs> I missed the whole thing. Her son has burned me. Oh, that's a good one, Jane. I should totally say that. I should totally do that. You're absolutely right. I should tell her her son has burned me. I should totally tell her her son has burned me. <laughs> Janet's right. Janet's eyes should turn around and say, no worries. I'm glad to, glad to help out. You guys, if you could see Hottie's face when he comes in from doing, when he comes in after whatever she said to him, he gets, his face just goes like, he goes like blank. He just goes completely blank. <laughs> We've had a few people like that tonight, Lynn. We've had a few people like that. I don't want to. I don't want to say the names out loud because I don't want to give them any power. But yeah, we've had a few people like that. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Thank you. The pattern collection is great. Thank you. I hear you. He was. He was. He. He. What is that? Can I ask you guys this? Why would you want to come? and bother a bunch of ladies in a crafting channel. I don't know, you guys. As Scotty says, it's usually teenagers having an issue. So this is my red page, and I had a whole bunch of red stuff cut out, but I don't have it now. I don't have it here. I'm going to put this down for my red page. This is a gift card from Target. It was, a, it was somebody's gift card. Red page gift card. Uh, I don't know. No, Scotty Popo is on it, man. You know, I've seen it. 
I was in a live chat not too long ago and I just saw like some, just some of the worst things ever. And I felt so bad for the person do, having it that, and she didn't have a moderator at all. And it's like, you can't even, you don't even know why and what. It's so ridiculous. It's just bizarrely ridiculous. <laughs> Lynn says he thinks he'll find a sugar granny, not not knowing that we craft with garbage. Well, here I do. You guys, I love crafting with recycling. Please know that any project I do, you guys can do with you can do it with like real scrapbooking paper. I don't know what did I use a piece of scrapbooking paper one day, and one of you guys went real something, but somebody made some sort of made a joke about my. <laughs> <laughs> Kara said, Scotty, you get him quick, quick. You can tell it's from your mother's side. <laughs> oh, Scotty, your family. I thought my family was eccentric. You, your family is pretty eccentric, and I think that's awesome. You guys, a matchbox cover. I may never find that. A flag from my country. But the only flag I found was this. So far, okay, the flag from my country has Elvira on it. Okay, let's see. A flag from my country, page 64. Okay, you guys, my flag has Elvira on it. My flag has Elvira. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What? Use real paper? I know, right? You guys were like, it was so funny. I don't know what I was using. I was, I had scrapbooking paper for something. They were like, wait. Are, you, are we in the right place? You guys, I like crafting with recycling stuff. I don't know why I do. I'm not, and you guys, I'm not a recycling snob. I want everybody to craft with whatever they like. <laughs> you like using recycling paper too, Mary Lou? Okay. Oh, <laughs> Scotty Popo, it is in your jeans. You printed out your airline ticket on Pinterest. I need to print out a, a a ticket from a dry cleaner. But half the fun is trying to find it in my house. Right? Or whatever I have. So I have I do have something on my flag page. No, let's see. 66 is my butterflies. I do have some butterflies. Oh, I was gonna show you. Okay, you guys want to hear a funny story. So I was in have you guys ever belonged to SwapBot? Has anybody ever belonged to SwapBot? You take a picture of your book and I'll print it out. Presto, done. Oh, you're so cute. The best flag award goes to me because I have Elvira. <laughs> I'm going to look for another flag too. So, you guys, I think I've used this napkin like three times in this book. So, I was in this Swap on SwapBot. Okay? And I made this lady writes in there on SwapBot. <laughs> Got to remember this book pockets. Yes. You guys, I've made a whole book out of these. And I usually, and I have one somewhere. I made them out of magazines, too. They hold lots of cool stuff. Anyway, um, you get your dry cleaning tag off of Google. Okay, I need, <laughs> I need to do that then. So, I, um, Swap Pods, it's kind of a cool place, you know. I don't know. There, you, 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 you see there's some, there's some swapping snobs on there. But you guys, I didn't really know. So, this lady, I was in a swap called, like, fill your stockings or something like that. And it was like for Christmas stockings. Okay. I should preface for Christmas stockings. And this lady who was the person that did the swap, she talked about her love of unique handmade Christmas ornaments. Okay. So you guys, that's right up my alley. And she talked about like, she liked butterflies and she liked, I don't know, she had butterflies and birds and something else. So you guys, this was back when I was doing my crazy uh, soda can earring phase. Remember I told you guys that I was making soda can earrings? So I die cut her all these butterflies. I want to say I made her like two dozen butterflies. First of all, these were double sided. Now, you know, now I'm not so, now I would have just left the, the can on it, but back then I didn't. And I Tim Holtz I used a butterfly die and then I ran through with an embossing folder and I did her like 20 and then I punched a hole in them and, and put string on them and put Christmas hooks on them. 
Christmas oaks, right? And I thought they came out so cool. I loved them because she was like really into, she said she was really into butterflies. Well, you guys, she wrote me a note. Okay, so you have to realize this swap took place for a whole year. Like you would swap, that one took place, the fill your stocking thing took place for a whole year. So you would send somebody something every month for a whole year. Well, I made her all these butterflies, and I was like all into it. I mean, so into it. And I made her all these butterflies, and I thought they came out so cool. And I made her, I don't know, two dozen, I think. And they were all different. They were all different, and and I even, I think I even made the, I think I made handmade ribbon on some of them, you know, like where you, like where you, where you, uh, take scraps of fabric and you roll it into your own ribbon and then some of them were hand painted and some of them were I did all kinds of stuff made out of tin cans mostly made out of soda cans you guys she wrote me an email and she said thank you for the earrings <laughs> you guys she told me thank you for the earrings you guys they were these huge I mean this was a small one this is one I had left I had I'd, I'd broken it or something but I kept it because when you use, when you put soda cans through a die cutting machine and you do the embossing, you have to be careful. You have to, you should put a paper towel between them. She wrote me, thank you for the earrings. Thank you for the earrings. Do you hear that? Thank you for the earrings. Thank you for the earrings. I laughed so hard I cried. Thank you for the earrings. I didn't even, first of all, who would send you, and none of them matched. They were, none, none of them were matched. And this was a small one. Okay. <laughs> Maybe she had big ears. But you guys, she wrote in her profile, like, I do not wear jewelry. I do not like jewelry. And her whole thing. And then she was like, I don't remember where she lived, but it was like somewhere in the middle of nowhere. She talked about how she had all these Christmas trees and that she loved Christmas. And, and I made sure to like, I wrote Christmas, whatever, on the back of the, the little cards that I sent them in. And of course, she didn't open it until Christmas. So you send them, you send a gift once a month. Um, for the whole year, right? And so then Christmas, Christmas comes and you have a Christmas stocking full. Oh my God, you guys, it's hilarious. I'm sorry, Mitzi. We love you. I saw you. If I didn't say hi, it's, hi, I'm sorry. Is that make you laugh? It's like I thank you for the thank you for the earrings. I was like, oh, Lord. I just, what are you going to say? And maybe she did wear Miss earrings, but two dozen butterflies, and none of them matched. I was like, whatever. Jane's asking you a question, Janet. The rat with a question mark. You guys, it was just hilarious. It was just made me laugh so hard. <laughs> the nerve of him, Mitzi says. <laughs> it just makes me laugh you guys it's so ridiculous right it's so funny how everything is subjective maybe her ears didn't match Jane's head maybe I don't know <laughs> oh Janet I totally get it Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> Scott, you know what I love about you is you know that, that whoever that person was was like a teenage boy and you were like calling him out. What exactly do you want? Like, what do you want? <laughs> I love it, Scotty. Scotty, what do, just tell me, what do you want? What is it that you can possibly need and what do you want? <laughs> What is it that you need and what do you want? What do you want here with these crafting ladies? What did what is it that you want? Okay, let's see what's on 67. I saw that, Jane. It was a really cute video. Jillian says, Scotty, you had to clean the gunpowder off your glasses. <laughs> Oh, night, Deborah. We love 
love you. I hope, I hope we see you on Tuesday. Oh no, that was just too much. Okay, 67 is yarn. I do have some yarn. I have some weird yarn, but I have some yarn. I have some yarn. I did manage to find some yarn. Some odd yarn, but I have yarn. <laughs> Julie thinks he was drawn by the boob talk. Okay, Julie, I believe you. I totally believe you. Oh my gosh. Now, usually when we talk like that, Sean shows up. Oh, Lord. We love our Sean, though. He's awesome. You guys are going to do another video hop for the Creative Arts Collaboration. So for those of you that are new to that, <laughs> Lucinda said, one time someone prank called her grandmother and asked if she had a John in the house. And when they said no, she they, they said, what do you do, poop in the sink? <laughs> Lucinda, oh my God, I remember. I remember those days. I remember those days. <laughs> and she got so mad. She got so mad when she told you because you laughed. I told you guys my prank call story about my grandmother. The, my grandmother had a phone in the... I was spending the night with her. She had a phone in the hallway, and they rang in the middle of the night. And you know, generally, that means, like, not a good sign, right? And so she, she goes, I hear her go, hello? And I go, I hear her go, oh, no, you don't want me. You must want my, you must want my granddaughter. Hang on. And I'm in college, I think, at this point. And I get up, and I get on the phone. And it's somebody breathing heavy. And I'm like, and I'm just like, I'm like, what? And I hang up and I'm like to my grandmother, I said, grandma. She goes, well, I'm too old for that shit. <laughs> Gosh, she woke me up in the middle of the night to hear a heavy breather on the phone because she's too old. I'm like, oh my, you guys, that was my grandmother. She was awesome. My grandmother was awesome. Awesome. <laughs> you were laughing so hard. You were laughing. Oh, sure. You didn't miss anything. We were just talking about ridiculousness. I don't even know how it started. We we're talking about wearing a bra. I don't know. Tonight was like the no bra zone. It's like somebody asked. It. Somebody said, none of us are wearing bras except maybe James. And I don't know what James said. He said something funny. Oh, my gosh, Lucinda. I would have been laughing, too. I would have been laughing as well. Totally laughing. <laughs> Scotty said her grandmother shot someone, of course. <laughs> oh, Scotty. Oh, Lord. I think it's I think your family's hilarious. Oh, Cheryl, you have no idea. My life, my life has always been this ridiculous. It has always been this ridiculous. Always, always, always been this ridiculous. Always. Joyce says her her dad was teasing had teasing her mom and you were you were laughing and your mom made you get out of the car and left you oh no <laughs> care says one time her aunt was getting nonstop calls from telemarketers from the same company about buying tombstones and her aunt said in front of her we don't use cemeteries we eat our dead. <laughs> Kara, I would have laughed too. I would have thought that was the best. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Tracy's already finished her scavenger hunt and hers was fabulous. Hers was the most fabulous. Did you guys see her perfume page? Like, I don't know. I haven't even done my perfume page because like after Tracy's perfume page, how do you how do you even like put make a perfume page? 
you have that one in your head, you go, um, I don't know. Tracy's perfume page was awesome. Malia, how do you have time to do anything? Mama, I don't think I did anything when my when I had a newborn. I think I like tried to I could barely function. I think I slept and ate. And you have a newborn and a and a toddler. <laughs> Tracy, yes, we're working on being dysfunctional. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, that's just too much. So fun. So I'm gonna work on my book all weekend, and hopefully I'll have I'll be almost close to finishing finished on Tuesday, and I'll work on it again on Tuesday night. But you guys, go on over if you haven't if you haven't subbed to Janet, go on over and subby to her. How many subbies does she have now? Did you guys did you guys look? We gotta get her to a thousand, you guys. Like that's ridiculous that she's not at at least a thousand. Because I can guarantee you that all of us are doing. There's so many of us doing this scavenger hunt, right? And you guys make sure you mark on your calendar to go over and check her out live on Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern, Monkey Island Madness on UStream. You subbie Sue's awesome. Oh my god. Oh my god, Cheryl, I forget half the stuff that happens to me until somebody reminds me. You know, like my sister and I me and my sister and I together and we laugh so hard because the most ridiculous things happen to us. I mean totally. And you guys, just so many ridiculous things. Like just so so silly and ridiculous. So silly and ridiculous. When you when your life is just totally filled with that, you just like you kind of file it away. You don't even think about it. Wasn't Tracy's perfume pays page amazing? Oh night, Linda, we love you. Everybody send Linda big love. Linda, I'll put you in the woo-woo. Okay, if you want to be put in the woo-woo. Because I guess it's about time we should do some woo-woo soon. And for those of you that want to keep crafting, Stacy from Pink Pool Crafters should be live soon. And she will be, you guys, she has some stamina. She has some crafting stamina. I don't know what she's working on tonight, but she made some beautiful tags on Wednesday. They were gorgeous. Yeah. That perfume page was definitely, like, one of the best, right? I was, like, so... So awesome. Hey, Charlene, did I say hi to you? I didn't see you come in, Mama. Maybe I did. I don't know. I'm sorry. I haven't been watching the chat so well tonight. Janet M. Young on YouTube. And if you look in the description box of this video, there is her channel. Link to the description. Link to the, link to the video that... Um, where she talks about it. Bye, Lucinda. We love you. We hope you have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful night. Calla says that she thinks Stacy's making um, Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras things. Awesome. So, how many of you guys want to stay for the woo woo? What are shipping out? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Stace? I mean, Trace? Good night, Jillian. We love you. Yeah, you guys go on over and hit. You want woo-woo? Okay, Kara and Lynn want woo-woo. Okay, for those of you that are new, I always do a guided meditation at the end of my live streams. And you're welcome to stay. If you don't want to receive the energy work, you don't have to. And if you do, you say yes. And if you just want to hang out and you don't want to receive it, just say no. But you can hang out and listen. Last about 10 minutes. Me, you want some Dawn? Okay. It's addictive, isn't it? Isn't the woo-woo addictive? The woo-woo is addictive. Feeling in that space of peace and bliss and connection is definitely addictive. Good night, Mary Lou. Maybe I'll see you on Tuesday. 
Or maybe I'll see you over at Janet. Janet has 933. You guys make sure you go over and... and You need some woo-woo? Okay. So we'll do the guided meditation in just a minute. And all you need to do to, to participate is inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. Okay, that's all you need. That is all you need. Nothing more than that. And you don't even have to have a skill of meditating. It's not, it's an active meditation. It's a guided meditation. It's an active meditation. It's not one that's going to, um, it's not one that is going to, you don't have to do anything deep. All right, ladies. So for those that want to stay for the meditation, we're going to go ahead and start. And thank you guys so much. Everybody, please check out the smaller channels that I have. Okay, Lynn, definitely message me over on Facebook afterwards. Um, check out the channels I've put in the description box. Most are small channels and could really use your love and support. Um, I'm, I'm putting yarn. It was like it was like a page we were supposed to put yarn, so I just decided I would wrap it around. Didn't you ever make these when you you had to have made these when you were in school? Where you just like start wrapping and rolling yarn in different ways? Tina says you love it too and it helped you trust. Awesome. The brown spot it's just yarn. It's just because that's what I had. I had brown yarn. So that's what it is. All right, let's get started. All right, love you, love you, Trace. We love you. I'll put you in the woo-woo. We're only, we'll only do a short woo-woo anyway. Okay, everyone. Find a place to comfortably lie down or sit down. You can do this with your eyes open or your eyes closed. It doesn't matter. And I'd like to give you the opportunity to invite in anyone that you thinks, think could use a little more peace, love, bliss, joy in their life. It can be a friend. It can be it can be somebody that you actually don't get along with. Why wouldn't you want to you want to have a more harmonious life? You know, include them. You know, include them in your in your meditation. You can invite your pet. You can invite anything that you like. Oh, the dollies are ready to ship out. Awesome. The clothes aren't yet, Kay. You're going to have to wait for the kit, for the clothes, Malia. I'm still working on them, but you'll get some clothes soon. All right. Good night, Julie. Anyway, find a place to sit or lie down. You can do this with your eyes open or your eyes closed. It doesn't matter. Okay. Inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. Receive on the inhale and release on the exhale. Imagine yourself in a column of light. And when you look up, you can't see the end. And when you look down, you can't see the end. This is your column of light. This is unique to your being, soul spirit. And with every inhale and every exhale, allow your column of light to get brighter and brighter. Allow your column of light to go deep, deep, and even deeper into the earth. Allow your column of light to head straight for the heart of the earth. Give your column of light big roots to anchor itself deep in the heart of the earth. Allow your roots to go deeper and deeper, anchoring themselves deep in the heart of the earth. (sighs) 
Let's ask the earth to bless us with her energy. I see this like beautiful golden light, but you can see it, feel it, think it, or just know it any way that works for you. Breathe in and feel this beautiful gold earth energy filling your column of light, your body personality, and fountaining out the top of your head. Feel it filling your feet and ankles, calves and knees, thighs and hips. Feel it filling the base of your spine, your lower abdomen, your waist, your heart. Feel it filling every vertebra of your spine. Feel it filling your shoulders, arms, wrists, hands, and out every finger. Feel it filling your throat and neck, your face and head, and feel it fountaining out the top of your head as high as you can imagine. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. Take a moment to enjoy your connection to the earth. I'd like you to put your attention above your head, your column of light filled with your light and the beautiful golden earth energy mixing together. Give your column of light permission to head deep into the heaven realm. Let's just give it permission and a suggestion, part of the central sun. And with that, your column of light is right there in this beautiful, angelic, heavenly realm, deep in the heart of the central sun. Give your column of light big roots, just like you did in the heart of the earth. Allow your column of light to anchor deeply in the heart of the sun, in the heart of the central sun, and deep into the heart of the earth at the same time. Let's ask the central sun to bless us with her energy. I see this energy like beautiful diamonds, but you can see it, feel it, think it, or just know it any way that works for you. Feel this beautiful diamond light energy, filling your column of light, mixing with your light and the earth's gold light, making your unique soul signature. Feel this beautiful diamond light filling your column, filling your head and face completely, your neck and throat, your shoulders, arms, wrists, and hands, and out every finger. Feel it filling your chest and back, your waist, your lower abdomen, and feel it pouring through your hips, thighs, knees, calves, and ankles, and out the bottom of your feet expelling any and all excess deep into the heart of the earth. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. Take a moment to enjoy your connection to heaven and earth. I'd like you to focus on your point of light and your connection deep into the heart of the central sun. And on the inhale, I'd like you to receive peace, bliss, and freedom. And on the exhale, you can allow yourself to let go of anything. 
of anything that's keeping you from living your soul's divine blueprint. Ready? Breathe it in. Receive in love. And release. Receive in love and release. Receive and release. Allow your attention to be six feet above your head. Receive peace, bliss, and freedom. 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 Focus one foot above your head. Receive peace, bliss, and freedom. Receive peace, bliss, and freedom. And receive in love. Focus on the top of your head. Receive peace, bliss, and freedom. 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 Focus on the point of light between your eyes. Receive peace, bliss, and freedom. Receive peace, bliss, and freedom. Receive peace, bliss, and freedom. Focus on your throat. Receive peace, bliss, and freedom. Receive peace, bliss, and freedom. Receive peace, bliss, and freedom. Focus on your chest, on your heart. Receive peace, bliss, and freedom. And on the, on the exhale, release any and all resistance that is not allowed, that's keeping you from living your soul's divine blueprint. Ready? Receive peace, bliss, and freedom. Receive peace, bliss, and freedom.
receive peace, bliss, and freedom. Focus on your waist. Receive peace, bliss, and freedom. Receive peace, bliss, and freedom. Receive peace, bliss, and freedom. Focus on your lower abdomen. Receive peace, bliss, and freedom. 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 Focus on the point of light connecting to the base of your spine. Receive peace, bliss, and freedom. Receive peace, bliss, and freedom. Receive peace, bliss, and freedom. Focus on point of light six feet below your feet. Receive peace, bliss, and freedom. Receive peace, bliss, and freedom. Receive peace, bliss, and freedom. Focus on the point of light that you connect to in the heart of the earth. Receive peace, bliss, and freedom. 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 Focus back on your heart. Allow yourself to call in the pieces and the parts of you that you've allowed to leave for whatever reason. See the pieces and the parts of your body personality, your being, soul, spirit returning. Your heart is just like a magnet. You're just going to breathe in and receive all of you that you've allowed to leave. And on the exhale, you're going to release anything that no longer serves you. Focus on your heart. Receive in love and release in love. Receive in love, release in love. Receive in love, release in love.
Receive in love. Release in love. I'd like you to imagine a, an infinity symbol like a figure eight, starting in the heart of the central sun, crossing through your heart, entering deep into the earth, crossing back to through your heart and ending where it began. On the inhale, receive love from the earth, from the central sun, from the angelic realm of the central sun, and from divine source. And on the exhale, give back love to the central sun, the beloved mother earth, and to the divine source. Ready? Receive in love and give in love. Receive in love and give in love. One more time. Receive in love and give in love. And one last time. Receive fully and completely and give fully and completely. And when you feel ready, open your eyes, take your time, and come back. And please share anything that you experienced or that you wanna share Please share it. Oh, I'm glad, Kara. I appreciate you being here. You're breathing easier? Oh, that's good. Oh, I'm happy to do it, Tom. Welcome, Margie, if you're still here. You know, Kara, I think we all do that. Kara's saying today she didn't realize how much stress she needed to release. And, you know, I think we all do. Like, we don't even know. it. Just our daily lives, we, we gather it, right? And we don't even know it. And it's over something silly, right? But it's still very real to your body personality, you know? It's still very real to your body personality. You're welcome, Scotty. I love you girls. Anybody else want to share anything? Felt like a spider tangled in a web trying to relax. Oh, I get that. I can relate. I can relate to that. Anybody else want to share anything? No, and sometimes the sharing part is just so that other people, because many of us experience the same thing as the others, but we don't know that we do. Hey, Angela. Oh, Angela, that's so awesome. You know, come back and listen to it anytime. Yes, if you do it on a regular basis, it will help release that. That's so awesome. It, yeah, if you, if you do... It will help release a lot of that energy that you're feeling. And thank you for being brave and sharing. We're happy that you're here. You guys, I had this like, this epiphany. I had this epiphany. Aww.
Tracy is awesome. You're welcome, Janet. I, you know, I'm, I'm just happy that you guys are all here. Ooh, look, I found my tag. Remember, I told you I had something from a pillow. I have one of them now. I can go back and find it. You know, for me. Oh, she, Carla wants to share. Oh, Janet, we love you, and everybody's gonna come over and watch you on Mondays. We gotta get you to a thousand, girl. We gotta get you to a thousand people. At least, Carla's saying she wanted to tell us that her ex is no longer squatting with your son. Aww. You know, it does. And you know, if you put, the thing is, is everything is energy. And we don't realize it. And everything is also our connection to the energy. And there's nothing outside of us. And trust me, I'm the last one that always wants to know that. Because sometimes when my life is going haywire, I want to be able to go, it's not my fault. <laughs> I want to be able to go, it's not me. But it is me. Because everything is my experience of it, right? So when you allow yourself to, re to stand in your own divine self, when you allow yourself to stand in your own divinity, then everyone else around you can stand in their divinity too. Oh, thanks for saying that, Care. I appreciate it. I appreciate you saying that. I love you girls so much. You have no idea how much I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I'm loving my scavenger hunt book. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a title. I'm going to do a cover for it too. I might work on that this weekend. And then I'm going to gather some more stuff for Tuesday. Maybe work on it. I love you too, Lynn. You know, we don't know that. We have the power. Sometimes we just forget that we have the power to change things and the power to make things different, right? When you get caught up in the crap. I mean, I do because I get caught up in my own crap. I get caught up in my own crap all the time. But when I realize that I have the power, when I wake up, and I do, it takes me a while, and sometimes I moan and complain my way through it, which I know nobody can relate to, right? We all just do everything so willingly. Sometimes I moan and complain my, my way through it. But when I wake up and realize that I have the power to be me. Oh, thanks, Charlene. And I have the power to change things in my own life. I do it. You know, but it's like sometimes, like the lady who's complaining about the bird poop. I think she's like a comical, like, a comical, um, you know, picture of what life can be like <clears throat> and you know she focuses on bird poop and I focus on the woo-woo <laughs> she focuses on bird poop I focus on woo-woo but she makes me realize that you know it's all perspective like she's focusing on the bird poop and I'm focusing on how beautiful the yard is growing right so here's one tag. I've got to, I'm going to find some tags, you guys. I know I must have tags from pillows. This one says 100% polyester. She is a reminder for me to let it go. Carly, you're absolutely right. But she's also a reminder for me that life has a sense of humor. That there is a sense of humor. Because, you know, I don't notice that the birds poop in my yard, but I'm sure they do because... My yard is their bathroom, right? <laughs> but I don't focus on it. Night, Scotty. I love you. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being the best popo tonight. You, I appreciate you more than you know. And I know you're not feeling great. And I'm sending you lots of love and lots of healing thoughts. You guys, head on over to Crafting Mamas. And if you feel like making the car for Cassandra's mom, that's awesome. But also, if you feel like sending both Ash could use a little, could use a little happy mail because I know she's really struggling. So if you felt like just sending her a, one, a little 49 cent envelope with a couple of little bits and pieces just saying I'm thinking about you. And also Wendy could. So if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> you only notice if they poop bomb your car. No, but it's like, a, you know, just made me think, you know, especially after all that ridiculous scare we went through with it ballistic missile thing and all that ridiculousness I'm like can't let it bother me 
I can't let it bother me. Now you guys make sure. Angela, you are always welcome. And you are always welcome to speak up or, or not. You can lurk as long as you want. If you want to go on over and join our group on Crafting Mamas, we'd love to have you. It's a lovely group of people, very supportive. We only have two rules, no selling and only positive talk. So, so we're good with that. No selling and we're good with being positive and supportive. You guys, we have to support each other. We have to be the light that we are looking for. We have to be that which we are seeking. Um, Wendy and Ash. I'll post it in Crafting Mamas. I'll post it in their care. But um, I'll, I'll post, I'll, I'll post, or I can send it to you privately. If anybody wants to send out a, a little happy mail, just message me and say you'll do it, and I will send you the two names. I just know that they're both really struggling, and it would just be, it would just be great. Just, we're not talking like a lot of stuff, just a little small envelope. Put a couple of little pieces of painty paper, put some trash in it. Like, you know, put one of these Starbucks things, put some muffin things in it and just say I'm thinking of you you know are you making the sca scavenger hunt book you know if you pass it personally if you message me if you want to send it out I'll send you I'll, I'll put I'll send you the addresses just sometimes I think just these little random acts of thoughtfulness can go a long way don't you guys think so these random acts of like thoughtfulness when you can just send it out and just say I'm thinking of you and, or I've noticed you're not around and I just want you to know I'm thinking about you and, you know, we're, we love you. It, it goes a long way. At least I think so. You know? And, you know, I don't know. People don't always tell me, but I just know that they're having, it definitely makes your day. Yeah, right? It can really be, it can really, you get home and you, you, you have something in the mail and you just go to a completely different space than what you were feeling before, Right? At least I think so. All right, my lovelies. I love you guys. You guys make sure you go, go over and support each other. Click on Care's channel and support her. Join her, her amazing giveaway. She's going to do the amazing contest for the logo. You know, go join that. You know, just in the spirit of joining and, you know, being a part. And what she's doing is really amazing. She's created a nonprofit you know, giving artists with, giving people with disabilities art supplies. I think that's so awesome. And make sure you guys head on over and subscribe to each other and let each other know that you care. All right, my lovelies, know that I love you and I will see you on Tuesday. If I don't see you before, Stacy from Pink Poodle Crafts is live right now. Definitely. Uh, from Pink Poodle Crafts is live right now. If you guys want to head on over and and join her live stream tonight, it will not. It will. You will love it. It will be awesome. All right, ladies. Good night. Big hugs, Angela. I'm glad you spoke up. We send you so much love. Always, always. And from my heart to your heart, I'm always sending you guys aloha. Take care, lovelies. Love you.